So we got another update for the Soviet forces in Germany in Gunner Heat PC for the month of February. And just last month, we received a major update that introduced the Soviet forces and the new T-64A. And this time we got a new tank and some new missions. If you don't know, my name is Fan Fantasy, and I do cover games like Gunner Heat PC. If you've been watching my videos and that you enjoy them, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date and hit the like if you enjoyed this video. With that said, the biggest update for this patch is the T-62. It's a 115mm high velocity smooth bore cannon. And the fire control systems and the gun sights is similar to the T-55 with the range stadia that you can use. The T-62 was a response to the American M-60 and was first introduced to the Soviet Army in 1961. The T-62 and the T-55 may look similar, but there are some differences. The T-62 was a replacement for the old aging T-55s. Back to the update, we have two new missions. We have Pack Partnership, which is a nighttime mission where you connect with your forces. And we have Rubber Mallet, which you'll play as a company attacking NATO forces, which you'll see in a bit. Also available in the training range. Tank is also available in the campaign mode. The 3BM28 and the 3BM21s have been added to the campaign logistics systems. The devs have also fixed the radio reporting system. Not too long ago, they turned off to improve the stability, and now that's been fixed, you should be able to notice where your friendlies and enemies are at on the map. There's also a slight tweak and adjustment to the restocking system, where you now have 3 seconds grace period to cancel instead of waiting for the whole entire time so this should be helpful for many people who are adjusting to this there are quite a few various fixes improvements like fixing a bug where seeing through the smoke can cause the crew to see through the trees they even fixed an issue where the T-64 would beat up a toll missile like it was nothing. They also fixed up some bugs where it caused some performance issues and some problems which you can read in this log right here. Although it may seem not much, this patch gives us a new T-62, new missions, and some various fixes to the game. But I also want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts on the comments below on this new tank and the missions. Now I'm going to show you guys the gameplay. Alright, so we're going to be playing a mission called Rubber Mallet. And we are 3rd Platoon, 3rd Company, you've been detached to support 1st Company attack on Objective Force. Their company commander is enthusiastic. We are also expecting 2nd Company to send 2 of their BMP platoons to assist in the assault. They may take some time to get to the rally point. Enemy. Expect M60A1s and M113s as well as total team support. And so for us, we do have some friendly T62 platoons and BMP1s and some fire support as well too. Alright, so we're going to move out with our new T-62s in Gunner Heat PC. And our CO says, hurry up and get down to the rally point. You third company men have no work ethic. Hmm, interesting comment right there from the CO of first company. So we're going to move to our rally point, which is right up ahead. And as you can see right here, they have fixed the radios. You can see our friendly tanks and we should be able to see the enemies that are reported later on. And so we're going to move to our company rally point. I'm going to make sure that our platoon is going to be moving in a line formation. And our axis of attack is along this road right here to Objective Boris, which is this town that we're going to be attacking later on. CO says our second company BMP platoon should arrive in 25 minutes to help with this attack. Which is typically kind of long for a Gunner Heat PC instant action mission, but we'll see. And now we're going to wait. And it looks like there's... Artillery landing right in front of us. Theo says, don't worry about the inaccurate artillery. See how they miss. Yeah, it's very enthusiastic right here. Oh, that one was behind us. Do you see our friendly T-62s on our left side right there? Ooh, that was really close. Uh, they're closing in with the artillery. And looks like smokes are landing in front of us too. Uh, they are attacking us. Move out and start our attack. Looks like NATO forces are hastily attacking us, so CO is telling us to attack. What I'm going to do now is set our range to a thousand meters, and I do see tanks on the right. Where CO says there's tanks on the left. Can't, not sure if I'll be able to see them on the left. We'll try. Yeah, they're th through the smoke. Okay, let's go for the ones on the right. So we're going to battle site a range to about a thousand meters. And it looks like we lost one T-62 from first platoon. And we'll keep moving. Oh, look at that. Closer support moving out. So what we're going to do is we're going to push up on the right flank and we'll attack 
from the east to the west. Can I reach the battalion fire support officer? Uh oh, I think he's going to tell us to call in fire support. I need you to call in artillery fire missions. Okay, no problem. I'll do that. I'll call in some smoke. As well as artillery. So now we're going to keep moving. Looks like we only lost one tank. And we're going to press on. I'm going to go look at the map and see where they're at. Looks like they're a little bit behind. So I'm going to wait for our company to catch up a little bit before we expose ourselves on that hill. So it looks like the rest of our company has caught up and we're going to be moving up to attack. Let's see what we got here. Ganter right. And that's the town of Jukov Boris. Oh, we got a tank spotted right there. And fire. And target destroyed. Scan to Oh, yep. Two tanks identified. And firing now. Oh, yep. He's still up. I see him right there. Come on. Faster. And target destroyed. Two tanks down. So what else we got here? Traversing left. How are we doing? Okay, no losses yet. Take your platoon to help out our BMP platoon to clear that town. Alright, roger that. We're gonna keep moving. Oh wow, so that was an anti tank right behind those tanks right there. Thankfully, we got them. Oh, what was that? And one of the threes, looks like. There he is. And fire! I'm gonna load up our heat rounds. Alright, a little, a little bit annoying. So, we're gonna fire and target. And cease fire on that. You yeah, have taken objective Boris. Let's continue clearing the town. I wanna make sure we actually cleared it and they're not retreating back all right so it looks like we have an m13 that we just destroyed and what else we got here so we got a pc over there but i want to sweep across the town first usually in my previous video i did mention that soviets usually attack more in depth so they usually go beyond with their objective and that is and that is an mcc that we destroyed earlier And that was an ITV over there. Alright, so I do see our BMPs. We have circled around the town. Looks like it's clear. And we can pretend and imagine that the mech infantry are coming out of that BMP and clearing the buildings. Alright, let's take a look at the after action review. And usually it packed, we lose more, but apparently we only lost 1 and 15 and 12 loss for NATO. So our first engagement happened here with looks like first platoon, first company to engage some M60s that were hastily attacking them. Or more like spoiling attack actually. So over here, yeah, more platoons were engaging the M60s that they have seen. Yeah, about 900 meters, but almost a thousand meters from here. And as we were moving up, we saw an M60 just at objective Boris, and we hit that tank directly. I think that finished him off. And then we got the ITV. So this was a big threat to us. And thankfully our 62 was able to engage and destroy it first before it can take out the rest of the company. And then these two were retreating away and we were able to engage and destroy. So this guy was very lucky. He had his back towards the enemy and stopped by the turret side, I guess. And then we were engaging the left tank right here. Yeah, that exploded for sure. And this tank right here was able to engage through those buildings and destroy this M60 right here. Wow, good eyes for the gunner. 
And then this one was finally destroyed after he retreated. And then we got the last APC in town and that ended our mission. Yeah, so overall not bad. We only lost one tank and overall that was a, a victory for us. Alright, so this was a pretty short mission. Hope you guys enjoyed this update video and this mission. Let me know your thoughts on this tank and the update overall. And as a reminder folks, Gunner HPC is still in development and there's more things to come. So stay tuned for more updates as we go on. If you guys enjoyed my video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe to stay up to date. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video.